Hi, I'm back again, and guess what time it is? It's time to bust out the Instapot again. So what am I gonna make for dinner tonight? I'm making risotto. And, of course, it is the easiest way to make risotto. It's the best, it's the quickest, and it's like a no-brainer. So every time I make something in this thing, believe me, it will be easy, and most likely, it'll be with everything you already have in your house, unless there's like a mystery ingredient. And, speaking of which, today's mystery ingredient is saffron. I'm going to infuse it with saffron. That'll be good. All right, here's my workspace. I've got my Instapot on saute. Okay, so no trivet in there. Here's all my ingredients laid out. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a couple tablespoons of butter. Okay. Nothing needs to be exact in any of these recipes, okay? So do whatever you want. If you like this or that or how much is something, you can measure things out and get really goofy if you want. I just am cook really simply and it always turns out really good. This is a Vidalia onion, so I cut that up. I'm gonna put that in. And then I don't have any garlic, so I have this Penzi's roasted garlic spice. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of garlic in there. Now I'm going to saute that up, I'll just mix that up and I'm going to saute that up for a couple minutes until it's nice and caramelized. Next I'm going to add my risotto and this is the rice that I am going to use. Pretty much most people use that when they make homemade risotto. And I washed it, I have about a cup and a half and this is a rice washing bowl. So I'm going to take that and just... See the rice washing bowl has holes in it so you can just run it under the water and shake it and then it rinses all the stuff off of it. So I'm going to mix that up and combine all those ingredients and saute that just for about a minute. Okay, now I'm going to add three cups of chicken stock. I'm going to add about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm going to do a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. Give that a little mix. And then I'm going to add one cup of white wine. I'll give that a little mix. Okay, that's all properly mixed. So now I'm gonna add my mystery ingredient, which is saffron. And now I have a friend from the Middle East who went to visit her family, and she brought me this container of saffron. Give that a smell. Ah, that is so nice. So you don't have to put any special ingredients in or any mystery ingredients, but since I have this and I've been looking for an excuse to use it with something, I'm gonna add a humongous pinch of saffron into my risotto mix. Give that a mix. Now I have my lid on secure. The lock is in place. Now I'm going to come down here and turn the saute no, wait a second, I'm gonna hit cancel. And then I'm gonna pressure cook. Keep, keep warm off. And it's on high. And I'm gonna do that for eight minutes. Now as soon as that heats up, which it will pretty quickly because it was on say, saute, that'll cook for, there you go. That's how fast it works. That will steam that and pressure cook it for eight minutes and then I'll get back to you. All right, the time has passed. Now I'll just break the seal. Open that up. Check that out. Just give that a nice little mix. We'll just let that sit for a few minutes and hang out while I get the rest of dinner prepared. Now let that settle for a while. So I'm gonna take a huge pinch of Parmesan. Just 
sprinkle that in, give that a nice mix. There we have it, saffron risotto, grilled chicken, and Caesar salad. I'll just put a little bit of Parmesan garnish over the top, a little bit of saffron, and bon appetit. Time for the taste test. definitely taste this saffron. It's delicious. My turn. Mm, that is very, very good. Mm. And now it's my turn. Risotto, Parmesan, and saffron from the Middle East. Risotto in eight minutes. Can you beat that? Seriously. And the saffron, great mystery ingredient if I do say so myself. Thanks for watching. Twin Cities Adventures out.